Hey guys, what's up? Today is day two of my time in the Amazon where I will be potentially without internet. And as a way to maintain this daily vlog, I decided to pre-record these episodes and upload them on a schedule for you guys to look at. And if you watched yesterday, uh, this is all about people who, inspira people who inspired me in um, what I'm doing now. So they act as a source of inspiration and I kind of like look up to them. So yesterday we talked about John Lee Dumas. Today we are going to be talking about a guy by the name of Pat Flynn. Now, similar to yesterday also, we will be going through his past, um, how I came to find out about this guy and then what he is currently doing now. So Pat Flynn attended school at UC Berkeley in California and he graduated there and got a job as an architect. And this was back in 2007 or so, I think. And by the way, this is gonna be like a take one vlog or a one take vlog where I'm not gonna go back and edit anything if I mess up. So we're just gonna keep on pushing through this. So anyway, he, uh, he was making like 30 or $40,000 a year as an architect and you know, just trying to support him and his girlfriend at the time. Um, he, his boss suggested that he go get a certification for the LEED architecture um, certificate. So LEED, L-E-E-D, is a, a green building certification in the architecture world. So um, he, he was like, okay, this could be potentially good for my career. So he went and studied it and took the exam and passed with flying colors. And in that process, he, he took a lot of notes and instead of just writing them down on paper or keeping them in a, uh, a Word document, he actually made a blog about how he studied for this exam and how he, um, or like tips and tricks to like pass the exam. And he put that online and it wasn't for profit or anything, he just put it online so he could access it not only at home, at work, or wherever he was studying from. And then 2008 came. This was like June 2008, the market crashed, millions of people across the United States got laid off, including Pat Flynn. And that was just devastating. Like he put all this time into, you know, his career as an architect and trying to pass this exam, which he did. And now it was like no good. Like he was out, kicked out on the street. Nobody else was hiring at the time. It was a, a very bad time. So he, he, I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but, um, he, he came across the idea of passive income and that is when he was like, oh, well, I have a website. Maybe I can do something with this website. So what he did was he installed some analytics on the website, which is just like a piece of software that tells you how many people are visiting your website. And he was shocked to see that he was getting high amounts of traffic to this website. So he's, he started like gears in his head started to turn and he's like, maybe I can make some money off of this while I'm laid off. So. He bunkered down for you know some amount of time and wrote an ebook compiling all the notes from his website. And he sold this ebook for 20 bucks. So he uploaded it and to his surprise, to his very, very delightful surprise, he ended up making $7,906.55 from this ebook by selling 309 copies just within the first month of him releasing the ebook. And that is kind of how Pat Flynn got his start with passive income. And now he is, um, he's known online as the guy who, the go-to guy for passive income. He has a podcast called Smart Passive Income. He has a blog called Smart Passive Income. That's kind of his like brand online. And going back to that ebook that he first made, he made it, like th this is the whole point of passive income. He made the ebook, he put it online, and then he just kind of sits sits back and lets it sell. Like he doesn't have to do anything. Like the orders are taking place automatically. The payments are taking place automatically. He puts in minimal time per month, like just two hours maybe per month for maintaining this uh, this ebook sale. So that do does really well for him. It did really well for him, and it currently is still doing well for him. And now, now Pat Flynn, since then till now, Pat Flynn has been experimenting with different ways of monetizing online, making passive income online. And that is what he's known for. So like I said, he's a blogger and he's a podcaster. He's known for his passive income. And one thing, one quote that I really, really like about Pat Flynn that he said in one of his podcast episodes are, riches are in the niches. And niche, you can say niche or niche. Um, Riches are in the niches and that is so, so true. 
like kind of like what I'm doing now with the daily vlog. Um, I, I'm very broad with my daily vlog. Like it's just a lifestyle vlog. Like there's really no topic. But I realized that in order to, you know, attract an audience of like-minded people, you have to have a a niche, a, a niche or a niche. Um, and that just means like a very specific topic that you talk about or that you write about. And that is where you're going to, you know, ultimately be able to make money online because you're attracting the like-minded audience. So riches are in the niches, keep that in mind. Um, and just like going off of that a little bit more, like you don't need a million or 10 million or 100 million people to follow you to be successful online as an online, you know, influencer you just need like a thousand true fans and if each one of those thousand true fans truly supports you then you're good to go um i think one last thing i want to say about pat flynn is he started youtube this year with like minimal followers and he's been putting a lot of effort into that so i'm definitely following him on youtube um, i'll link all his stuff below including his youtube channel some of his podcasts and definitely his blog online so if you want to check him out for inspiration or whatever definitely do that uh, i highly recommend him i uh, i really look up to pat flynn and um I, I, I thought I was going to meet him one day. I flew out to San Diego for a uh, Facebook advertising conference for three days. And he was supposed to be a guest speaker there, but he ended up canceling last minute. He came in through Skype, so that was definitely not the same um, you know, as meeting him in person. But you know, hopefully one day I can meet him because, uh, I, I, like I said, I definitely look up to him. So that's all I have to say about Pat Flynn. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another influencer. And um, yeah, uh, see you guys then.